All right, y'all, welcome to part three of the uh, Pong app. Part three, what we're going to do is set up a collide with um, so that the ball collides with the paddle. It'll update the score, and uh, it'll also reset the direction that the ball goes. Okay. All right, so to get started, you guys make sure your blocks editor is open. We're going to go to ball one, and we're going to set up that collision. So you want to find the one that says, when the ball one collides with, do this. Okay, so uh, you want it to be able to collide with the paddle. Okay, so I'm going to type in paddle there because that is what I named the image sprite. So you want to make sure those match up. If yours says paddle, type in paddle. If it says image sprite one, type in image sprite one. Okay. All right. So when the ball collides with the paddle we want the score to update. So we are going to go to my definitions and we want to call that update score procedure to happen. So we're going to do call update score and we want to set up the score value. So we're going to go to built-in, we're going to go to math and we're going to get an addition block and under my blocks my definitions we will have a block that says global score so we're going to take the score and each time it touches the paddle, the ball that is, we're going to add a number value to it. So built in math, okay, I'm going to assign it a value of 1. All right. So if we go to our emulator here, we haven't set up a start button, so we'll get to that. Okay. So let's finish up this ball 1 collide with. We also want to set the ball's direction. Okay, so you're going to go to ball one and you want to find where it says dot heading. Set ball one dot heading two. And remember, heading is the direction. That's what we talked about. Um, so, what we're going to do is we are going to take the current position and subtract 360 from it. So, let's go to built in math, get that minus block we will get a go back to math number and we have heading is in degrees so we're going to take away 360 degrees from the current position of the ball so we're going to go to my blocks we'll go back to ball one and we'll get ball one dot heading that will take care of that okay so that will take care of our ball when it collides with the paddle score will update and then the ball will come, will go in a different direction. Um, okay, so now that we have that, let's set up our start button. Go to my blocks, go to the start button. We're going to use the when clicked. All right, so when the start button's clicked, we want it to do a certain number of things for the ball. All right, so ball one, first thing we're going to do is enable it. So we're going to do set ball one dot enable to true. So under built-in logic, let's get true. We also want to set the interval. That's the frequency of the movement. We're going to set that to 10. So we'll go back to ball one. We'll find where it says ball one dot interval. And we'll, we're going to set it to 10. Built-in math, let's set it to 10. And here's where we set up the direction of the ball when it starts. So we'll go to ball one again. And we're going to select heading. So we're going to select the heading. Remember that is the direction that the ball is coming. And we're going to use a random integer. So under math, we're going to get the one that says call random integer. So it'll call up a random integer. And you're going to put these numbers. 225 to 315. So when we hit the start button, it's going to come from any of those directions or any of that those uh, positions in degrees. We're also going to set up the ball one speed. So we'll go to ball one speed, set ball one speed to, and let's give it a value of 5. And feel free to adjust these numbers um, 
you can try it out, open your emulator. Okay, so if I hit start here, uh, once we get this done, it'll work. Um, we've got to set this next one up. We got one more. All right, so under my blocks, ball one, we got to set up the move to. And we got to set up the value of it for the x and the y. So we're going to go on the x, we're going to use the math, the divide sign. And we're going to do the screen width divided by 2. So let's go back to math here, set the value at 2. And then let's go to screen 1. And you want to find where it says screen 1 dot width. So we'll take the width, remember the x is the width. So take the screen width, divide it by 2. That's where the ball will move to on the X. And for the Y, it'll be ball1.radius. So under ball1, find where it says ball1.radius. OK? All right, so let's try it out now. We hit the Start button. You see it coming from the top. You see it bounce off the paddle. You see it scoring. If we hit the reset button, it won't work because we haven't set that up. If I keep hitting the start button, you can see that it uses the random integer to select a position for the heading. So it's picking between 225 and 315. Feel free to change these numbers and make your game how you would like it. Okay. And uh, we have one more video. We're going to set up the reset button as well as create a way uh, for the game to uh, basically get harder. So we're going to increase the speed of the ball as the score goes up. Okay. So go ahead and save what you have and then go on to the next final video when you're done.